that seemed rational. Taking a lunch break. I know I, I know I get started late today. But what I was trying to get done in a hurry wouldn't happen. And then I start doing shit that don't matter. Or does it? So I'm a rock hound. There's no, there's no question about whether I'm a rock hound. I'm an absolute rock hound. In the, in the worst degree of rock hound. I put rock hound in almost a dead I mean, I love the excitement of the hunt, the thrill of what can we find, and the mystery rocks hold about who we are, where we are, and why we are. They all hear in the rocks. And so what I've been saying all along when we made the challenge, gave my friends the challenge, I said, hey, look at this butterfly. Look at this butterfly fan. Maybe I just needed to warm my voice up or something. But I've been telling my friends, because I'm a rock hound, that I said, well, look at this butterfly I found last year while fishing. Nah, actually, I found this in another friend's yard. But um, I did find some cool rocks fishing, too. I find rocks all the time. Nobody cares about them, but I do. I care about rocks because they hold a lot of secrets about who we are and why we are. So when I proceeded in telling them, check out this butterfly I found. <laughs> half of them looked, man, give me some. And the other half looked at me like, dude, do we have to commit you? And they were right, because when I went on Google, I thought, okay, maybe I am tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Trust me, I've tripped before. Take off, talk back. And so anyways, my point is this, for about a solid 22 hours, I've slowly retracted what shouldn't be here, which is the lava that happened after the fact that this guy froze to death in an ice war. I discovered on this old video that there's five types of fossils. There's a cast fossil and then a carbon fossil and... Then there's the fossils that happened during the Ice Age where these poor little guys, and I say guys because i got a few different things, um, these poor little guys froze to death. Slowly but surely, they froze to death for one million years, supposedly. I don't, I, I don't know what to believe when they tell you this shit. But I can tell you this, this does not exist. They don't happen. They're... No one has ever recorded a butterfly that is petrified. And the reason I'm doing a video right now is it seems like the more I kind of just kind of brush on it, the more detail comes out of the fact that it is. You know, it's starting to, uh, it's starting to pull out the characteristics of a butterfly. And like his, his face which you're pretty soon there, and then if you look inside here, you'll see his little legs and stuff that kind of tucked in this little hole, and I don't think there's any opportunity on it. But it appears I was right all along, and that this wasn't a spearhead made by an Indian for a, which is what we originally thought, which is what caused me to pick it up. But in reality, it's a petrified butterfly, a monarch one to be exact. Happens to be what I use as my icon. Isn't that ironic that I am the monarch? If I want to think of uh, my personality, I'm kind of like the butterfly. I'm big, bold, I look scary, but I'm just really just a butterfly. Just, just flying along. Just flying along like a butterfly does. <laughs> Anyways. I put, listen, man, when you can't Google this and it doesn't exist and I hold the, I, I own this one, you got to know I'm kind of happy to find out that my suspicions were real. And so will the guy that I got it out of his yard should be pretty happy too if I think my suspicions are real. Because I got a whole bunch of them out of his backyard, a crap load of these. And... Evidently, they don't exist, and that this is not a butterfly, but I didn't carve it out, and I'm slowly showing you as I unveil it from the post, 
lava that exists on it, meaning that after this thing froze to death during its million years, there were other, I, I don't know, something else that oxidized him out to where I've had to remove. Well, you can see what's inside of his wing. If you look inside of his wing, and his, this is the wing that we're getting pretty close to, and it's obvious you can see it's starting to thin out quite a bit. But inside his wing is, is lava. And then the outside of his wings, so his wings are probably spread about the way you see them here, because I think we're really close on this side. And I pay close attention because, and this is just my, my I think that we got a glimpse, we're going to get a glimpse of what he looked like, color and everything, but I think you could pass that up in the, uh, in the petrified process and go past where you're going to get a graphic like you're starting to see here. And I've been seeing these, these indentations in it throughout the whole process. And if you think what I'm doing here is easy, it is if you've got a lot of time. It's kind of something, instead of doing crossword puzzles, I'll polish rocks that are really cool, you know, and see what I can, uh, uh, you know, see what I can, how good I can make them. I've done that for a long time. But, uh, and I've got drummels and all kinds of shit. But this is just a unique find in my uh, in my adventures and uh, we're going to unveil it right now because this is just kind of how I do it. I just take uh, some light sanding paper, same ones I use on my guitar and I just, uh, just rough it up. And it was getting to our dam and it was, I just, I would switch sides, you know, and just because it seems like if you let a side oxidize a little bit, it starts getting more defined. It starts pushing up and you start to see the circle that's here, which I know of, and the eyeball that's right here above his head, that's that's not his eye, that's not his eye. His eye is way down here, right where my finger is. You see that? That's his eye. And that's his body right here. And he's got all this wing. Back in the prehistoric times, the creator, the uh the 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 the, the, the whatever that created us knew that these little guys needed a defense mechanism and their defense was if you look at him from here he almost looks like a snake head all coil you know all sprung up so as they were flying you'd see this and that would trigger animals a few of them that they didn't want to fuck with it because it looked evil right trippy huh i bet you didn't know i was uh one of those guys well, you're, well i'm not because those guys are taught that this doesn't happen and therefore they limit themselves and what i'm talking about is pantheologists, which are the study of fossils. They stick to bones. They can't, they don't understand how this happened, even though we had so many ice ages, that it was realistic that these things slowly froze to death in their full form, and then just found a little place to tuck away. And then years later, you know, a friend of mine digs up his yard to, to level it out and makes a garden out of it. And I'm stumbling out back there smoking a cigarette, and I see it, and I'm like, Oh, well, that looks like a spearhead off, you know, an Indian's thing or something. And, uh, voila. I found rocks all over, but I just happened to like, like spearhead looking things. So I found that most of the spearhead looking things I look end up being moss or, uh, these, you know. Here's one right here, okay, and I'll show you one in a raw form that I see. So I find this, and I look at the rock, and I think, well, that's kind of cool. It's got a little ornate thing going on around the edge, right? So you look at it, and all of a sudden you see like a snakehead. It looks like a face looking at you, but it ain't right because it's smashed, right? So you look at it again, you think, is it a fish? And you start turning it, and you go, no, it's none of the above. And then you get it finally right where it goes, and you find out it's a butterfly. And that's the way the butterfly is, right there. Actually, maybe he's this way, as you look at it. But this is his wing, and this is his body, wherever it lands, right here. And that's a butterfly. And I find him. And I didn't know it until recently that I understand that, well, I guess I have a knack for finding butterflies. Petrified ones. Believe it or not. 